Hey, what's going on? We're back again in the Anti-Spell Festival. Uh, today we're going to be trying out some Alter Geists. Um, had a feeling that... I've played a few games basically with frogs and I had a feeling that um, Alter Geists might be a good option just because of the slower pace and stuff. I think I mentioned that. I think this will come out after the frogs um, video. Uh, may have mentioned that in that video, but yeah. Um, also, guys are really powerful once they get going. They can just consume boards and just put up a lot. And the, although they're quite weak, turn one, they're not as weak as um, some decks. Like some decks just have to go first. Uh, so yeah, this isn't too bad going second. It's what I meant. Um, but yeah. Um, this guy's playing zombies. Not, not not the first time I've come across zombies, to be honest. Um, I think zombie vampires are very powerful in the ranked at the moment, and I want to get a deck together, but obviously cards like Uni Zombie and Zombie World are very high rarities, and I don't have a lot of gems at the moment. But, <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm a bit confused to see them in a trap-based um, festival, but here we are. In terms of... A Opening hand, it's pretty good. I have put some stuff I wouldn't usually use in Alter Geist, like Alter Geist Pixel, for example. Um, it just seems in a slow format, it's pretty powerful to. Um, yeah. To get a one up, basically. Uh, so, what's this person? Vampire Retainer. Cool. Vampire Dominion. Domination. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, I'm at, so two on the board, and you're going to soccer, I believe. That's the link to for the vampires, isn't it? Uh, four more into the grave, Mizuki. Cool. Yeah, vampires. Okay, here we go. So they've lined up the graveyard because this works quite well from the graveyard. This deck. So Mizuki to then get back Uni Zombie. Yeah, which um, oh, I can't remember what link three is. I've got any, but I imagine the link four or five is. Wait, it's a Maikashi card, I believe. Link four. Maybe. Too back row, not too bad. It was pretty good. So, Mo you see can attack directly and remove something from uh, the field, which is extremely powerful, especially um, in situations like this, where uh, there's a lot of interaction from the opponent. Right, so that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to sum it up and we're going to go to the battle phase. Battle, yeah, directly. Ah, have they got anything? Have they got anything? Nope. That's very fair, yeah. I am going to put. Yeah, I'm going to put Sucker, because Sucker's quite powerful and I don't think it has any graveyard effects. Famous last words. So then, we actually could do this, it's pretty funny. So, now you see here for the anima, the anima takes the uni zombie, and all of a sudden we're in a pretty good spot. Do, 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 do. Tribute is card. Uh, cool. I 
What is this person debating? I wonder. If, if it was me, I would just negate it. Yeah. Um, so from here, we can effectively get multifocus. What multifocus does when the trap activates, it can summon itself and on resolution, it can summon uh, another alter guys. Grab that. Um, yeah, that's what I need to do. Forgot what phase I was in. So do that. Do that. Spoofing's really good with multifocus because that can then, I can basically just swap the pi uh, pixel out for something more useful, something more relevant. Um, for next turn, because next turn we want to go into some link summons, potentially access code if we can, but if not, the link to, I forget the name, Hestia, I want to say. Um, Hex, yeah, Hex, yeah, I think. But yeah, that seems to be the plan. Cool, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna say no to that, because we don't want to get their players going. We've got them a really nice spot. That's gonna go bye bye. That's also, like I say, should activate multifaker, right? Yep. Brilliant. Because when we get the multifaker, and I think you pronounce it sequalis or something like that. Um, bring that to the field, then what that means if he summons them, we can start bouncing stuff. Because we can bounce one autogarist back to our hand. Um, and also bounce something else to there, so then they use up their normal summon. Right now. So return Morphic to the hand. Return you to the hand. They have no plays. Have no plays left. Um, so we may as well get spoofing off while we're here. Yeah. Uh, return you. Over for, yeah. So we can get something that we can use. Um, I think I'm gonna remove Mel you seek. So they shouldn't really be able to do anything now. And this is the thing with all cross. Once it gets going, it is so difficult to stop. Um, yeah, that's that's what you get. There's no way back there. So awesome, did what we need to do. Um, what time are we on? Yeah, I have another game. We have one more. We just have one more. Nice gems, gem, 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 gems. I think this might be the way to go because, like I said, I, I used the frogs in the last video uploaded. And it's just really slow and ineffective the first few uh, turns. Whereas this is a lot more effective because even if you're not particularly doing a lot, um, you have so much inter so much more uh, interaction with your opponent, so you can stop them from playing that sort of stuff. Oh dear, it's not too good. Oh. Do that, I know, put him in the wrong place, forgive me, please. Um, yeah, I'll just set that. And off we go. Not great. Because this is the problem. If you don't draw Altergeist cards, Altergeist gets very slow, very sluggish, very quickly. Um, because yeah, I've actually recorded a video, I haven't put it out yet, of playing Autogos in ranked, and it is horrendous because for two reasons. One, it's slow, and it's not good in the slow format. And two, um, if you don't run your Autogos cards, it's pretty much game over against modern ranked decks. You just get outplayed so hard. Cool. Oh, we don't know. could do that. Oh, mercy. 
Um. Okay, we'll flip some now. Summon this. We will go into Phoenix to be putting them, if nothing else, a very dismal clock. If nothing else. Right. Battle phase. So what we got? Cool. This is the downside of playing so many trap cards. Uh, yeah, I'm telling you, Emperor, you. What is this person playing like? What is this person playing? What's quick fair? Quick fair, you can target one face monster in front of your opponent, you can send one card with that monster's name and from the deck to the to the and get this effect. Ah. What's the original effect? Okay. Go for it. I wonder if this is what I wanted to do anyway. Come on. Autocross card. Give me Autocross card. Please. Yay. Okay. It's not the worst in the world. It's not the best either. It is something. Yes. Ash me. I dare you. Or oh, Fat Valen. Yeah, go for it. Sure. Because all I would have done is set the one that's already set. That's fine. Cool. Battle phase. Attack you right in the face. Uh, no, I'm gonna suffer some of you. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Slowly but surely, we are getting somewhere. I do not know what this person is playing. I'm very, very worried for them. Because it has the swift of rank 8 turbo. And from my understanding, that's a very bricky deck. Which we'll see. Yes, Rank 8 Turbo it is. Is it a Grand Manchu deck? I'm just going to slap me in the face for some damage. I don't think this is quite... Um, lethal, but definitely not good. Uh, I shall do this. So I take less damage. Maz mastered all things. Uh, we're, we're in a pretty difficult spot here. I, I, I say for the for the poor opening, he's just not set us up well, and they've got ridiculous card advantage. So. 
And this is it. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, All right, let's have one more game and just see where we're at. One more game and hope we do well. We go first, excellent. Perfect. And we've got the Mario Seek that we've actually got. Auto Guys cards. Excellent. Um do, 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 do. Yeah, we, we want to do this still. Mario Seek into a Link Rubo from Mario Seek and Grove. Sure, mate. Sure, 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 sure. Link, about our. Yeah, I'm still a. Face and Grave. No, I do not ash myself. Um, what do I want? Oh, I think I want Concrete. So one pass. Not bad. We have Jordan Lockwood, so I don't know how relevant this is in this festival, but you know, won't extend anytime soon. Uh, we have Ash, which is always something. Pendulum, goodness me. I'm going to say no right there. Bye bye. I too have cards that have effects. Oh no, it's not this. Not the, uh oh, it's the circus. Yeah. So the administrator, uh, uh, yeah. Good for you. You are going back in the hand. Four. Yeah. Oh, what they call what's this architect? It's based around a circus where, like, oh, what's it called? Ah. Yeah, you have like uh, the main perform performer, administrator, the tent. Yeah, it's like amusements or something. A maze? Is it a maze? Are we a maze architect? Yeah, goofy ass. Delightful. Someone's just clicking buttons out now. Ah, not bad, not ideal. This doesn't do anything to grow the. This card is sent from the field to the grove, you can target on all the train the grove card. I don't have any. Yeah, I don't know anything. Uh, what can we do? What can we do? You can start a nightmare Phoenix and stuff. Don't really want to do that. What have we actually got? Uh, Quick fate can trigger one or I don't know. Mm. I think we, go, we do just go Nightmare Phoenix, don't we? I think that's what we do. Get, get around some back row. Probably to get rid of scales actually more than anything. Alright. Get rid of one ash. Get rid of you. Yeah, 
Yeah, we've still got an arm swarm, so we could still multi faker because there's no point in keeping multi faker in hand because you don't have a trap for next turn. Okay. Do not disturb. Don't know why you're equipping stuff. Don't understand your logic. I'm gonna say no. Go away. Oh no, I've done. I failed miserably. Tricked me. Thank goodness for you, Paul. It's a top deck match you want, it's a top deck match you're gonna get. Oh my goodness me. Whew. Oh, yes! There you go. And that's how you play Autogast in this. Actually, I think this might be the deck for me in this festival. I think this is probably the more fun a deck you can play to start gem uh, farming. So yeah, may, may put another video out of this, maybe not, because I feel like it's just going to be the same. If I come across any more decks in this festival, 100% um, uh, we'll do more videos to share. But yeah, this is the deck list at the moment. Let me know how you think, let me know how that went. Hope you enjoy, remember.